This is a release that I find really, really interesting. I know that people were theorizing that the tow line mold would be used for lockdown later on down the line. It has the spikes, the exposed engine, the muscle car-ish look, the feet are right, but I can't really see too many more similarities in it than just that. Like, the mold just didn't look sleek enough to me. Like, I haven't bought any other versions. If you want to see other versions of this mold, go watch the Sheep Wielders Legacy Evolution series. But for an animated lockdown figure, I just didn't think that this mold could work. I was thoroughly on the team for the chase mold. But then we saw pictures of him and it turns out it is not an animated lockdown but a pseudo bayverse lockdown that is very interesting so does that fact save legacy united star raider lockdown uh not quite, but there are some cool things that he can do. But before we get into those things, we gotta look at the painting and sculpting on this figure, which is okay. Now, don't get me wrong, I like the sculpted detail on this guy. The shins and feet are easily my favourite part of this figure. The look is just super great. I love the taper of the shins, the studs on the outside, the green placement is really good, and the bumper feet are just perfect. The thighs are a little bit bare bones and basic, a little bit spindly, but you could class that as a reference to animated lockdown. The torso looks like MF Doom. I'm never going to unsee that now. It doesn't really look great to me. Just something unlockdowny about it. He had a roof chest, right? I suppose the detail is well sculpted, I just don't like it. The biceps and shoulders are just a car chunk, and not a particularly pretty one. I feel like these could have been mounted better. And the forearms are really ugly. I don't like the look of these. Why do they look so scratched up? The backpack is nice and clean, I suppose I can give it props for that. But the point that this figure goes from a figure that has some resemblance to Lockdown to a figure of Lockdown is the head. This looks like it was ripped straight off of the Revenge of the Fallen figure. It's a really neat reference. I suppose it does match the body a little better than an animated lockdown head would, but it still doesn't save the look of this guy for me. He just looks really squished, and I don't like the arm placement. There's just something really proportionally off about this figure, and I can't put my finger on exactly what it is. Like, lockdown's a tall, lanky fella. Why is he built like somebody shrugged and got stuck? Eh, retools, I suppose. Can't win with all of them. One thing I can't really fault here is the deco. There only seems to be one molded shade, the black, and then every other color is painted on, and they really did just pick all the right hues. The red is vibrant, the lime green and the dark green complement each other perfectly, the silver adds nice little pops here and there, and all the paint is applied very cleanly. I have no complaints about the deco. But what could potentially save this guy? is the weaponizing gimmick, which we will get to in a minute because I almost forgot to talk about accessories. Now, Lockdown comes with a couple bits and bobs. To start off, there's a couple of alt mode components which you can keep on through transformation or just put wherever you want. There's these big Age of Extinction Prime looking smokestacks and the engine block that splits in half. There's also these bits which are just like the back of a car which they try and convince you are guns. You can keep them in the hands, but they look terrible. And there's only really a couple of good uses for these things in robot mode. And then finally, you get Lockdown's hook. Now, all of these are five millimeter port compatible so you can just attach them wherever you want to, but my personal favorite configuration doesn't use one of the pieces. You notice that out of these two gun things, only one of them has the gold paint? That's the one that we're going to be using. The other one you can just chuck wherever. What I like to do is place that into the left hand and stick the hook in the end, and then the port on the wrist I use for the engine block. That gives Lockdown his big orange hook hand and the EMP blaster, and it does a pretty decent job. And then the smokestacks we can just stick wherever we like. Doesn't really matter. I suppose these accessories being able to go all over the place was part of the junkie on Gimmick. This mold was part of a mix and match army builder type deal after all, and part of that is detaching all the limbs. The shins come off at the knee, the shoulders pop out, it's all on 5mm ports. I'm sure you could mix and match limbs if you had other weaponizers, but I don't. But that does give you the great power of fan moding to make this guy taller, which is probably this figure's best redeeming quality. I've seen so many different fan modes just to make this guy a little bit more accurate to either animated or the Revenge of the Fallen toy, and you can really mix and match the parts in the shoulders and the knees, just to beef this guy out a little bit. Right now I have them on my desk like this. I think that looks pretty cool. And I personally think that the best looking version that you can get of this guy is this, but the smokestacks don't fit in the torso too well so the arms can fall off, which it is a shame. But while these accessories can help the look a bit, they can't help the posing, which is just a bit dismal. The head can only swivel because of the sculpt, that's alright I suppose. The shoulders can't go out all the way because the shoulder pads knock into the head which looks hideous and I hate it, but at least they go all the way around. He's got double elbows so you can get some pretty deep bends that are way too loose. There's ugly off-centered wrist swivels. He's got a waist swivel. Hips go out standardly and forward and back pretty well. He's got an above the knee swivel and a knee bend, but you can only use one of those at a time. So when the knees bent, it interferes with the swivel and if you try and move it, it just pops off. What the hell? And then the feet can point up and down and he's got a pretty decent ankle pivot. Posability here is just bad. 
The torso speaks for itself, but the legs could be good if not for that weird little issue with the knees. Posing this guy is no fun, and it does not do anything for the look. Transformation on this figure is surprisingly pretty good for the most part. I like the way that the torso kind of turns inside out and the legs rotate around to come up and meet it. It's very simple, quick, and satisfying. And then the arms go and ruin it by having a massive clearance issue, so it's way easier to just pop one of the arms off, do that separately, and put it back on. And that leaves you with a pretty cool, but kind of weird car mode. Of course, you can improve it by slapping on all the accessories. The gun things plug together and clip on the back, the engine block goes here and the smokestacks go here, and there's no real place to store the hook without just plugging it in somewhere. I just tend to rip the front third off actually and just shove it in the side here. It's good enough. And like, yes, the details of this car are pretty good. It looks like lockdown. The studs are still nice and apparent, the windows with the bars across them are a nice touch, the bumper looks extra angry, but once again, proportions are a problem because they took a tow truck and tried to turn it into a muscle car and it's just too rounded? It just looks like it's got a face. Why is this figure covered in faces? I'm sure you could spruce this guy up if you had other Junkions to mix and match parts with. The car mode comes apart into many, many different components. But as an individual release, this guy just doesn't feel right. Especially as a lockdown figure. I don't know, I felt that the Bayverse connection was a pretty fun thing to do, but it really doesn't save this figure for me. I think if you enjoyed this mold, then it's a decent pickup, but if you're looking for a lockdown, I don't think that this is the best one Hasbro's ever done, honestly. I've only ever handled the Revenge of the Fallen figure once, but I'd rather have that than this. It's a shame, I was looking forward to this release, but now that it's in front of me, I just can't say I recommend it. But hey, the chase mold exists, one can still hope.